Hello guys, welcome to the unboxing of the um, iPhone 6. Well, not just the unboxing, I'll show you what the iPhone 6 looks like. I'll show you some cases and then I'm out sort of give you a slight comparison of what it looks like in terms of size to the um, iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4. Um, yeah, so um, sit back, relax and enjoy. So this is how it comes. I'm um, obviously in a box, nothing on the front. It's just a plain white embossed, should I say, image of what the iPhone 6 looks like. Um, again, you have the um, specifications here. This is the um, slightly larger model, the 128 gigabytes. Um, space gray there's also the gold here you know um, again all of them are the high-end ones 128 gigabytes 100 and this is 128 gigabytes space gray and gold as well so yeah um, I'll open this up quickly and show you what it's like I had opened it earlier um, but just felt I'll put it in and just show you all again so obviously I cut off the wrap so that's it here nothing inside it's just you know how that comes, keep that aside. This is the phone, this is what it looks like, you know, space gray model, really nice, you know. It's, it feels great in the hand and the build quality just seems really, really good. Keep that aside for now. Then you have Apple's standard um, documents that come with it. Um, the pin, the sticker, um, some documentations on how to probably operate the phone. Um, keep that aside. Um, you get the headphone jack, or the headphones, you get the um, power outlet, UK style, 3 pin, and of course you get the lightning cable as well, and then that's the box, nothing in there, it's just empty now, keep that aside. So basically this is what you have here, to give you an idea of what comes with the phone. Show that a second, yeah. That's basically the nutshell, I'll put everything back now and give you slight walkthrough on how it compares to the other models okay oh by the way um yeah it, it was um most of these are they were all pre-ordered online however um, i went in store to actually have that apple's experience of queuing up to get an item and i will never ever 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 recommend anyone to do it i think it's absolutely awful it's a horrible experience and it just doesn't make sense to do such again in my opinion it's madness so yeah that's it here um these are a couple of cases different um colors so you can see what they look like um that's a um, cream type color brown black and then of course two blues because i think <laughs> blue is really nice um okay i'll open one up and show you what it looks like <clears throat> there we go that's it slick and feels good in the hand and the leather quality seems really impressive um, that's what it's like here. Um, I must say, I think they've really improved on this. It's 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 not as um, thick and as um, strong as the previous models um, case. I'll show you what that's like in a minute. But yeah, that's that one, and it just fits nicely on the phone. You know, just put it in there. Oops. There you go. Yeah. I'll take this out quickly because I'd like to show you some more things. But yeah, that's what that's like. keep these aside with the phone so yeah here we go this is the obviously the iPhone 4 you see what it's like um, small you know then you now have the iPhone 5 which is this one so you see what that's like in terms of size and then you now have the iPhone 5s which is this one and then you have the iPhone 6 so you see it's been quite a journey and quite a jump should I say you know of the models um, they all look good. The changes, obviously, from the previous generations is this whole fingerprint sensor. I think that was a big deal. Um, but that's what it looks like. You know, you can't really tell, but it's really slim compared to the rest. You know, they must, they've must they really done well in terms of cutting down the size. Um, <clears throat> I'll put them on top of each other so you'll have an idea. sure if that's clear enough but there you go you know so you see what that's like you know it's just it's big compared to the rest and the connectors but yeah 
Yeah. So there you go. Um, like I said, it feels good in the hand. Initially, I wanted the plus, but that was why I went in store because I wanted to see it first. And when I saw that phone, I was surprised at how big it was. I think it's one of the biggest phones out there. And to be honest with you, it's not a practical day-to-day -day phone. If you want a phone for calls to to even browse the net, picture everything that you will probably want an iPhone for. I think this is the best iPhone out there. The Plus is ridiculously big. Um, it, I mean, it's definitely a two-hand operations type phone. I appreciate the fact that this has a tap, double tap to bring things down. I think that wouldn't fly, <clears throat> you know, because like I said, it's, it's really big. I have really big hands, but that phone was just ridiculous. If you're into small pockets on your trousers, it wouldn't work as well. You know, if you want putting your breast pocket at work in your suits and things to be a little bit too big. This is just an ideal sized phone and it feels really good in the hand. Um, yeah, before I put that on, I'll show you what the old case was the old case was like. Again, you notice how much it's faded. You know, I think Apple had an issue with that, but I went in store a few times and they gave me replacement once, so you know, after like my fourth time I just said, you know, it's not worth it anymore. This phone, these cases are just crap. But yeah, I still use it. But you see this is really strong and not as flexible as this one. And then it just fits in like that. And there you go. That's how it looks. It looks so good, you know. And then this one fits in like that. There you go. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a quick one, giving you an idea on what it looks like compared to the rest, and um, obviously the unboxing and the cases. So have a good one, guys.